Okay, welcome back everyone. I hope everybody had a really good lunch and is energized for the afternoon session. Um, we're going to have, uh, I'm going to go until about 3.20 p.m. Uh, in the first part of this, and we'll take a 10-minute break there, and then we'll start in again about 3.30, and we'll go until 5, and then we'll come to our dinner break. So, let's pick up where we left off. I was talking about brain structure and human behavior, and how these two things are completely interrelated. <clears throat> brain health plays a critical role in human behavior, so it is extremely important for human beings to become familiar with the brain's basic structure and function. Now, <clears throat> I'm not telling you that this is the totality of neuroscience, what I'm going to show you here today. I'm saying that this is the basics. It's the essence of how the brain structure works. So this is part of understanding the physiological uh, aspects of how consciousness works, all right? So there's three main complexes, structures, that comprise the, the total human brain. The first is the R complex or the reptilian brain. So this part of the brain facilitates <clears throat> basic survival functions. It's the part of the brain that goes to work and becomes active when we're in what's called fight or flight mode, okay? Uh, when survival is at stake. It also controls basic motor functions and, and respiration, okay? The second part of the brain is above the R complex. This is called the limbic system. It's also known as the mammal brain, the mammalian brain. This part of the brain facilitates human emotions and it makes um, human emotion possible to be felt in the physiology. It does this by releasing what's known as neuropeptides into the bloodstream through different, different glands that comprise the, the limbic brain or what's called the midbrain also. So uh, the final part of the brain, the, the highest structure uh, structurally and the newest part of the brain uh, evolutionarily, it's called the neocortex. Now really what this part of the brain is really called is the telencephalon. That's what we traditionally think of as the gray matter of the brain, okay, uh, with the hemispheres, okay. Uh, the neocortex is where all of the actual uh, electrochemical activity that comprises our human modes of thought takes place, and that's in the outer shell of the telencephalon, which is known as the neocortex. So this part of the brain actually facilitates all human functions of thought, what we consider the things in thought that make us a human being and separate us from the animal kingdom. Higher thought functions, logic, um, uh, intuition, creativity, okay? So we'll, we'll break down these parts of the brain and uh, give you some visual understanding of them. So down here, <clears throat> which... Sorry. Down here is the reptilian brain. It's comprised of the brain stem right here, and this part of the brain is called the, um, the uh, cerebellum, okay? These two components together essentially comprise the R complex. So again, the R complex is the lowest consciousness part of the brain. We don't do any thinking with this part of the brain. It's the reactive part of the brain. It reacts to stimulus. It's the stimulus response mechanism. Now, up here in this middle part of the brain, these are all the different glands like the hypothalamus, the thalamus, the uh, pituitary and pineal glands, etc., that comprise the, the midbrain or the limbic system. All human emotions are facilitated, are made possible by this part of the brain, okay? So um, this part of the brain, if it wasn't working properly, you would not be able to experience a normal range of human emotions. This is part of what psychopathy is. Psychopaths, this part of the brain is not functioning properly, whether it be from a birth disorder or whether it be from um, conditions over one's life that if someone has stayed in chronically, has numbed out this part of the brain and it is not, is not functioning properly anymore, so the person's not actually experiencing a normal range of emotions. This part of the brain, which again is the telencephalon, this gray uh, matter part with all of the grooves, etc. Um, <clears throat> that's the neocortex. The neocortex is the outer 
casing, basically, of the telencephalon, the higher brain. It's the human brain, okay? Neo means new, so it's the newest part of the brain structure uh, as far as uh, evolutionary development of the human being goes. So this part of the brain facilitates all higher-order thinking, 